Hello and welcome to Neat Spice YouTube channel where we bring you simple natural solutions from everyday spices, herbs and natural foods. If you haven't already, please click the subscribe button and once subscribed, please click the notification bell so you know when we drop a video. Did you know that spices are best stored in airtight containers away from light? This helps spices to stay fresher for longer as we will see in the rest of this video. In this video, we are going to be looking at the best ways to store your spices. We have received quite a number of inquiries on questions like, what is the best way to keep spices fresher for longer? This is the reason we made this video. But first, how should spices be kept if they are going to retain their freshness for longer? The best way to keep spices fresher for longer is to keep them in dark storage vessels that are airtight. Airtight glass is the best container we can recommend and this is because glass is better than plastic because it doesn't deteriorate with time. Spices lose their flavor when in light and in non-airtight containers. They can also start getting moldy in case they contain some moisture. In many cases, keeping them airtight will keep mold away from growing. This also depends on if the spices were properly cleaned prior to drying them. This should be the way to store spices, especially those that you don't intend to use on a daily basis. Especially if you're one of those that like to buy your spices in bulk. Always keep them away airtight and in a cool, dark place. So how about those spices that you use on a daily basis? How should they be stored? Number one, don't use the cabinet above or near your fireplace because this usually gets moist due to heat. This will change their taste over time. Number two, use a clean dry measuring spoon. Don't sprinkle spices into the pan from the jar itself as this allows vapor inside the jar. Number three is know when to throw the old spices. Never add new spices to old ones after you got those new ones in. However, before you keep spices fresher for longer, you must have bought them fresh in the first place. So let's look at some considerations that you can make to ensure that you buy the best spices, and that is fresh spices. Number one, never buy spices from the supermarket or grocery store. Typical spice buying procedure involves lead times from four to six months. So if you're wondering what lead time is, this is the time between the initiation and, and completion of a production process. During lead times, the spices are usually already at the supplier's warehouse. Probably they have been there for a while. And while we're waiting to be shipped, the paperwork is being arranged. Assuming your local grocery store ordered these spices, you might see them at shelves after one year or even more since they were dried. This batch in the store might also take a while to sell, let's say another six months to a year, before they get the whole thing sold out. Usually, by the time you buy these spices, they will be overdue or have lost most of their natural flavor. This is the reason you ought to buy your spices from a spice store specialist shop, that could be online, or directly from the wholesaler if you intend to keep them for longer. Number two. Consider buying whole spices rather than ground spices. Whole spices could take up to three to four years before losing their flavor. This is because they keep their flavor inside for a while. Ground spices usually have a shelf life of one to two years. From my point of view, I will bring this down to eight months since different spices lose their flavor faster than others. Number three, don't buy cheap. Cheap is most times cheap for a reason. This is true when looking for the best spices to buy. The cheaper you go, the less likely it becomes for you to buy something great. Rather than going cheap because you are on a budget, you can decide to instead buy fewer but quality spices. Never underestimate the role of spices in your health. Spices are something that we have consumed and continue to do in everyday food. We almost cannot do without them. This means they have contributed to your health either positively or negatively. Please read the full description or the full report on spice storage in the description below. We hope you found this video helpful. 
Please give it a thumbs up in order to help others know it was useful. And see you in the next video.